Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the European Information Days of the Live Programme, edition 2024. The Live Programme is the only EU funding scheme that is entirely dedicated to the environment and climate action. It is managed by CINEA, the executive agency of the European Commission for Climate, Infrastructure and Environment. My name is Eva Paparatti and I am uh, working as a project advisor and the call coordinator at CINEA. And I'm welcoming, uh, welcoming you here to the first day of this information uh, days, which will see a lot of presentations, of course, on the calls for proposals. As you may know, last week, in fact, we published the, all the calls for proposals for life uh, funding. They can be found all in the funding and tender opportunities portal of the European Commission, where you will find all the calls and all the application forms to apply for life funding. However, we have organized this event in order to make sure that everybody can join online and uh, get all the information. Here you will find everything you need to know in order to apply and uh, have the best chances to um, uh, see your project selected and funded through life. So um, I will um, already ask you to join us via Slido. In fact, um, Slido is the, the tool that we are going to use throughout these four days uh, for two main um, purposes. We will uh, use Slido to uh, get your questions. In fact, at the end of each session, there will be time for questions and answers. And we will also use Slido to ask you at the end of each session, what you think about this session if you got all the information you needed. So, um, please already join us by typing slido.com on your mobile phone or you can also uh, scan the QR code. And um, this is the, the first ice-breaking poll we have. This is uh, our first question on Slido would be, is this your first uh, EU um, live uh, program session. Is this uh, the first time you join the EU live information days? Please go on Slido and answer the question so that we know how many newcomers we have present today. I think we have more than 1,500 people registered for this session and uh, we would like to see how many of you have already uh, participated and we want to make sure that everybody can, can join on Slido. So this is the, um, this is our uh, first uh, Slido poll. I see that there are lots of newcomers, but also a lot of, a lot of experienced lifers. So welcome to you all. And let's now have a look at the agenda of these four days. So today is the first day of the EU Life Information Days. We will start with a general introduction on the LIFE program and on the calls for proposals of this year that were published uh, last week on the Funding and Tender Opportunities Portal of the European Commission. Uh, we will uh, first have a general overview um, with some uh, tips on how to prepare a good proposal and then we will go uh, more into details about uh, the um, um, application and evaluation uh, processes. Um, then we will uh, have, uh, after the coffee break, a first question and answer uh, session. And um, in the afternoon, we will uh, uh, have uh, two uh, presentations on two calls which are the call for proposals for strategic calls for proposals for strategic integrated projects and strategic nature projects and the call for proposals for technical assistance replication projects tomorrow tuesday we will uh, 
look at the calls for proposals for uh, standard action projects under three sub-programs of life, which are climate change mitigation, climate change adaptation, circular economy and quality of life, and nature and biodiversity. On day three, that's Thursday, we will um, dive into the calls for proposals for clean energy transition. And on the fourth day, we will uh, present you the calls for proposals for operating grants for non-profit making entities. Well, I would like to already uh, let you know that this last uh, session is a bit special because uh, this call for proposals for NGOs has very uh, strict uh, eligibility criteria. So uh, as I see, there are many, many people registered there. I would like to tell the persons who are going to participate, please, before you uh, apply, make sure that you have read carefully the eligibility criteria because uh, we, you have to, to make sure that you are eligible for, for this call. And please remember that you are, uh, as an NGO, you can apply for many other calls, not only for the operating grants. So just to, to, to remind you, there will be a lot of time for questions and answers, but there are very simple rules uh, to, to remember when you uh, join on Slido. Uh, you have to, um, first of all, make sure that you're in the right session and you still have time to register. You can still register to any of the sessions that you can see here on, on the screen. And when you ask a question, please uh, first make sure that you ask it in the, in the right session. And before even you ask the question, we would ask you to carefully listen to the presentation because you might have a lot of information in the presentation that could even already answer some of your questions. And then even before you ask a question, I, we would advise you to check if the question has already been asked. And if so, we would advise you to um, like the question because questions will be ranked by the number of likes they get therefore the more a question gets likes and the more the, the quicker it will be uh, treated by us so please uh, before you ask a question check if it's already there and like the question we would also like to uh, remind you that this event is entirely recorded and therefore you will be able to listen to the recordings um, in, the, uh, in the next days following the, 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 the event. They will be published on the uh, live YouTube channel. They will be published uh, also on the live uh, website and on the website of this uh, event where you have registered. You can also uh, find all the um, presentations, all the slides of these events on, on the live website and also uh, on the event uh, web website. We would also like to uh, remind you that you have the possibility to, uh, um, to meet other potential applicants. And this uh, you can do by preparing first uh, carefully uh, inserting your profile on the, on the platform and then uh, proposing uh, meetings to other potential applicants. And this would uh, allow you to prepare for uh, partnerships and consortia in order to apply together and to uh, increase your chances to, uh, to get funding through life. So now uh, I would like to uh, move to the agenda of today, please. Can I have the slide? Thank you. So more uh, in detail today, we will start with the general introduction um, of the LIFE program and the calls for proposals 2024, just after a welcome message by um, Anne Boril, head of unit, Cinea LIFE environment. And then uh, Anne will be joined by uh, Hans Rhein, head of unit uh, uh, of uh, the Cinea LIFE energy and climate life. Uh, sorry, Life Energy and Life Climate Unit. Then um, the, our colleague uh, Bernd Decker 
will uh, give us a presentation on the application process and the evaluation. Then uh, our colleague Licinia <clears throat> will uh, go more into the details of the financial aspects of a proposal. And then after the coffee break, we will have a first question and answer session using Slido. After the lunch break, the afternoon will be dedicated uh, to uh, calls for proposals for, for strategic projects and calls for proposals for technical assistance replication projects. Uh, we will also have, of course, a question and answer session. So for yeah, every after every presentation, so don't worry, you will have time to uh, send your questions and get your, your answers. But now without further ado, I would uh, call our uh, colleague Anne Buril, Head of Unit Cinea Life Environment, for the welcome uh, message. Thank you, Anne. Hello. Good morning, everyone, and thank you very much, Eva. It's certainly a great pleasure for me to be here to welcome you to this year's Life uh, Info Days. Normally, the opening would be done by Annetta Williams, who's our head of department in Cinea. Um, however, she's on extended leave, so I'm opening this on her behalf. As Eva has said, my name is Anne Burrell. I'm head of one of the two units in Cinea with responsibility for implementing the LIFE program. Before turning to talking about LIFE per se, I'd like to just give you a brief overview of what Cinea is and what we do. Cinea is one of the six executive agencies established by the European Commission. We manage in total seven different EU financing programs with a total delegated budget of more than 65 billion euro for the period 2021 to 2027. Overall, in Cinea, we identify ourselves as the Green Deal Agency because our programs work towards a greener, more sustainable Europe. In addition to life, Cine's programs include the Innovation Fund, um, relevant parts of the Horizon Europe program, and the Connecting Europe Facilities Energy and Mobility program, as well as some other programs. Um, beyond the impact of our individual programs in Cinea, we aim to establish synergies among the different programs to try to ensure that our EU financing has as large and coherent an impact as possible. So, for instance, in the LIFE program, we've established strong ties with the European Maritime Fisheries and Aquaculture Fund, um, which is the program providing support for the implementation of the common fisheries policy and the union's maritime policy. It has a centrally managed component, which is one of the programs that's implemented by Cinea. So to give you an example of what I mean by the synergies, um, for tackling marine litter, LIFE has supported already back in 2014, a project of about 1 million called Ghost Life. This was followed up then in 2019 by project under the MFAF program um, worth about 600,000 euro. And now it's going to be followed up by yet another project under the Horizon program, a project called Maelstrom, which is worth about 9 million euro. So we, we try to ensure that our programs work um, coherently and that we give support for the various different themes um, and challenges that we're trying to address through the European Green Deal. I would certainly invite you to visit the Cinea webpage where you can find many more details of all of our programs. You can also consult on the Cinea website our online public dashboard. This is a tool that allows everyone to find information about all of the different EU funded projects that are supported by Cinea and you'll find this data visualization and some graphs and we're, we're developing some maps that uh, will be increasingly informative in the future. So if, if you're interested in knowing about the funding opportunities overall from Cinea and what's open at the moment, please do look on our website, look at our um, dedicated page there on call for proposals where you can get an overview of all of the ongoing calls for proposals across the programs managed by Cinea. Of course, you can also look directly on the EU funding and portals, um, funding and tendered portal. So 
With those brief words about SNEA, I'd now like to turn specifically to the LIFE program, because that's, that's why you're here with us today. Um, and as mentioned by Eva, I'm going to be joined by my colleague Hans Rhein, who's the head of our sister unit. And we will take you through an overview of um, the LIFE calls, the LIFE program. Of course, across the next four days, you're going to get a lot more details. Um, so we're, we're certainly not going to give you all, all of the nitty gritty in our introduction, but I think it's, it's useful to have a general overview. So um, the LIFE program um, is, is not something new, and as many of you probably already know, we're uh, 32 years young at the moment, um, hopefully with another 32 years at least ahead of us. Um, we're the only program that the EU has which is entirely dedicated to environment, nature, and climate action, including energy transition. Um, we're therefore really a program that's at the core of the European Green Deal. Of course, we don't do all of the implementation, implementation of the European Green Deal through our program. There are lots of other programs that um, contribute also to the European Green Deal. But uh, we have a special position really to kickstart, catalyze, demonstrate, and address some very key challenges that Europe and our society is, is facing. So over the period 2021 to 2027, which is what we call the present um, multi-annual financial framework, LIFE has a budget of 5.43 billion. Um, the various calls that we have launched for this year um, amount to a total of 571 million euro. And as we go through, you'll, you'll kind of see the distribution of that budget across the different calls. Um, what can I say overall about the program? Well, um, as I said, it's dedicated entirely to the European Green Deal. We're implemented through four sub-programs, which we'll talk about in a little more detail now. But all of these sub-programs aim to contribute to um, promoting a sustainable, circular, energy efficient, renewable energy, nature-based um, and climate resilient economy. We are very closely linked to all of the policy objectives of our parent DGs. So it's a DG Environment, DG Clima and the DG for Energy. And we aim to support in different ways all of the policy objectives of the policies managed by those services. So we have different types of projects and we'll talk about them a bit more, but as I say, overall our goal is to support the development, monitoring and implementation of EU environment and climate policy. We aim to provide models of solutions, models that can be upscaled and copied across Europe. We have some projects that are really just demonstrative projects. We have some that help to implement plans, some that really just promote best practices and behavioral change. And a lot of our projects aim to catalyze a large scale deployment of successful solutions. Our beneficiaries are equally spread across private enterprise, NGOs, and public authorities. So any legal entity in the EU is eligible to apply, only private individuals cannot. Next slide, please. So we're gonna to touch now on each of the sub-programs. Um, the first sub-program I'd mention is the Nature and Biodiversity sub-program. The overall goal of this sub-program is to contribute to halting and reversing biodiversity loss across our continent. We support the implementation Natura 2000 network and its prioritized action frameworks, um, but we also work beyond the Natura 2000 network um, on other types of environment of biodiversity and nature objectives, for instance, the eradication of invasive alien species and um, working towards protecting species, even if they're not in Nature 2000 areas. We also aim to promote mainstreaming of nature and biodiversity objectives into other policies and other financial 
programs. So we have various different types of projects that do this that we'll speak about later. Um, but maybe it's just worth noting here that one thing that's ongoing now, but we don't have a separate call for, is that we have a small grants program um, working the overseas countries and territories in outermost regions of the EU. So life actually does extend beyond the continental EU into some of our further flung um, areas where we have lots of nature and biodiversity. Next slide, please. So our second subprogram I want to mention, mention is the subprogram on circular economy and quality of life. That's, that title is a bit of a mouthful, but basically it's all of the environment policy except nature and biodiversity. So this subprogram covers objectives related to water, related to soil, related to plastics, related to industrial emissions, um, water management all really of the other EU environment policy areas. We give support, again, both to public authorities and private entities here. A lot of the projects under this sub-program aim to support technologies and solutions that have already been shown to have potential in research labs. We don't finance research. We go to show how actually it works out in the real world. <laughs> 